Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. And in this video, I want to show you a feature you may not know about body moving. And it's really interesting because it allows you to import animations into After Effects and see how the animations are actually made. So once you find an animation you like, I'm going to start off on Lottie files and let's open up this one. You need to copy its URL and then head into After Effects, create a new project, go to Window, Extensions, Body Moving. And if you're up to date on Body Moving, you should have this button here, Import Lot Animation. So you can just paste in the URL, import it. It will take a while depending on how complicated the animation is. One, boom. There we go, Import Finished. It will open up um, however the animation and its folder structure was made. So here we've got solids and an animation folder, just like the person who created the animation had in their After Effects project. But you should be able to find the main um, comp of it. And there we go. We've got the lot animation. As you can see, all the layers are named the same way they named them in the Lottie or in their project. And you can see all the keyframes, um, etc. So this method doesn't always work with every animation, but I found it works with a decent amount of them. Um, and one thing you need to watch out for is animations with gradients. So here I'm going to grab the URL of this Lottie I made and import it. And gradient data um, actually can't be imported into After Effects using this. So you'll have an alert window pop up and with all of this information. And at first when I saw this, it was a bit complicated and I didn't really understand what it meant. But now I do. So I want to show you that. Let's open it up and you get this animation, but it's all, all blacked out. And uh, you sort of see this if you export your Lottie and don't save the file. It's just all grayscale. So. Let's go through these alerts. So gradient data can't be imported. You have to do it manually. Layer, layer one outlines because I didn't lay, I didn't name my layers properly, but we can click on it and you get the comp name, target green. So here we've got at keyframe one. So I'm not animating the gradient. So it's only got one keyframe. Um, so you can open it up open up the gradient editor. And so handle, handler position 0% is this color stop. And you can see here the location is zero. So then you just have to copy in the hex value. So 835 FFB and go to the next one. So the handler position is 28.3. So you need to add another stop, go to 28.3. And 7173 FB and 47.5. So it's a bit time consuming um, and a little bit tedious, but uh, at least you can recreate your animation properly, which is pretty cool. So here we've got two more. Um, did I color that properly? 87 FB, yep, and 73. And um, because you're doing it yourself, you know, you can maybe customize it uh, whilst you're at it. Um, but that's how at least you read uh, this information. So, and 100%, it's at the end, location 100, 0, 0, FF, BF. And there you go. So, here's the outer layer. And um, yeah, we've recreated it successfully. And the other ones are exactly the same. So I'm not gonna go through them because you get the gist of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's a neat little feature inside of Body Moving, uh, importing lots of animations. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. I hope this video helped you out. And if you did, 
be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.